Switch on the power and heater switches together to ensure that the heating function is available during the experiment. Now, press the M button to turn on the M8 channel handler. When you hear a warning tone and the scram red light is on, twist the red push button clockwise and release the switch. Do it again until the scrum red light is off. And then press the reset button. Then next, mount the spin tips to the M8 channel handler. And place the M8 channel handler to the auto stage. Now we can proceed to nucleic acid extraction protocol using the OptiPure viral autoplay. If you have eight samples, carefully remove the aluminum foil from column one to six on the autoplay. Before use, please check the integrity of the reagent plate. All reagents should be colorless and transparent. Now, add 300 microliters of serum sample or whole blood sample or PBS suspension to column 1 from letter A to H. Please take note that the volume ratio of mixture and lysis buffer is about 300 UL by 600 UL respectively. If it is changed, it might affect the performance of the procedure. Now, we are going to add 10 UL of proteinase K into column 1 from letter A to H. Place the auto plate to the plate holder of auto stage. Make sure that the missing corner of the base faces towards the lower left. Now press the guide mode and select the program 665-1.
Now, the machine will do the collection, mixing, and vapor process. Wait until the program ends. When the program ends, push the M button and then take out the auto plate carefully. Remove the MH channel handler to the auto stage and eject the tips by pressing the tip ejector. Now, we can transfer the purified nucleic acid from column number 6 from letter A to H to a clean tube. Purified nucleic acid ready for CPCR and QPCR test.